What is up guys? It is Sticks here and today I'm going to be going over this week's Ascendant Challenge. But first, make sure Petrovenge is in this location on your map. She should be in the Strand. I've covered this up that way. Certain chat things in there, private messages, etc. But once she, you have confirmed that she is there, you can go ahead and load into the Dvalian Mists. And before we get into the proper Senate challenge for this video, feel free to subscribe. I post these videos once a week and other videos more sparingly. All right, so it's actually gonna be really easy this week for you. We're going right into the Dvalian Mists. So if you already know how to get to this portal, feel free to skip ahead. And if not, follow me along. We're just gonna be going in this cave and then going into the Lost Sector and then taking a few odd turns that you might not normally take. All of this is exactly the same as when you're going into the Lost Sector. About here, I would recommend using your Tincture. Once you've used the Tincture, run on past all of this stuff. You don't need the jump really or anything. Nothing is going to make it to you. I am going to say jump on this rock and then jump right into the portal when you get the chance. Alrighty. This week it is the Agonarch Abyss. So we're going to be going over every egg in the Agonarch Abyss along with the bones and the actual challenge itself. The basis of this challenge, it is a bunch of parkour where you are following Toland, who is the little white light orb. So the first egg, as you can see, is once you get here, it's to the right and then up that sort of cliff side. Make sure you shoot that and then you can continue following Toland down. Be careful around these, they're very easy to just walk off, and dying does as you would expect, and restarts the whole thing for you. Do go ahead and just continue to jump down. Make your way rather slowly, if you can. Uh, when you get to this bridge, do not jump down more. There are a, a few things on this bridge, the first one. The Toland, the actual Toland for the bounty is right here. You just go trigger him, let him talk while you're, you know, fiddling your inventory, whatever. And then after that, you're going to look in the kind of roots of this tree. And there will be, for most people, Ascendant Bones here. Ahamkara Bones. If they're not here, you already have them. They're very easy to see because they kind of glitter and glow in the dark. So... If you have not picked them up yet, they are there. They'll be either there or at the end of the bridge, either. Memory spit foggy. All right, uh, the second egg, as you can see, it's a little bit off to the right there, but before we shoot at it, we're gonna jump onto this disc. So once you've jumped here, you can feel free to just Take aim at it. In reference to the final area, it is just way off to the right over here. So you kind of have to do it midway through the parkour instead of waiting to the end like I would normally. Because normally I would like to make sure all the ascendant eggs are done in one fell sweep, but it is what it is. All right, go ahead and slide down this ramp. Make sure you don't die here. I would recommend jumping right before you hit the ground. If you are a uh, Titan or Warlock, glide a little bit before you hit the ground instead of just doing what I did on the Hunter here because you'll still take full fall damage if you uh, glide too slowly when there's no distance between you and the ground. I would say this is probably much easier to do on the Hunter just due to the way the jump works. Uh, then Titan with like Lion Rampant would be next easiest, and then it would be Warlock. I would recommend Icarus Dash with Transversive Steps. 
especially because the boss has a solar shield, so you can just burn through him using the Dawn Blade at the end. All right, the final Ascended Egg is all the way at the top of the boss room, so that one's just really easy. I, I imagine if it's not there, you've probably already seen it before and just shot it. All right, you're gonna wanna trigger the Tolan that's down here. Wait a second. I think for a lot of this uh, waiting is important. I will also mention you can jump all the way down here from the start of the Ascendant Challenge. If you don't care about the eggs at all, you can jump all the way to the bottom uh, using Shatter Dive, using Ballistic Slam, using, I imagine, Icarus Dash and Sword Flying could also work. You know, it's just, there, there's a lot of things. Very odd, the way that works. Either way, go ahead and grab your loot. Maybe when you're not getting by uh, taking Phalanx. As far as post boss things, I understand there's taken Blight on the floor. Not everyone has solar weapons, not everyone has good weapons, like a rocket launcher or something. If you need to, I would recommend standing like in that tree. It's right over here. And then just camping it as much as you can because the Blights will have trouble there. I would also recommend for uh, Titans, the Burning Maul, I think it is. That's the one that makes the dot damage for fire, right? Yeah. And then there's also plenty of other, just the most random things that you can use for it. I do believe that there is a few just straight up solar exotic weapons, like there's Tommy's Matchbook, if you pulled that out of the kiosk, if you want to just handle the solar problem. But either way, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, Comment, subscribe, stuff like that. Peace.